Hey guys, uh, welcome back to my channel. I'm Pixel Paul. Thanks for pressing play once again. Today, or this morning I should say, I'm at the home of my local football team, Bolton Wanderers Football Club. I know what you're asking, I know what you're thinking. Paul, this is a, a gaming channel, not a football channel. And that's true. The reason I'm here this morning, at very early hours, is because of this. So this is Bolton's biggest car boot, car boot sale. Uh, it's not been on for a couple of weeks. It's been cancelled because of events at the stadium. But um, it's huge today. I don't think I've seen as many sellers as I have for a long time. And the queues to get on to the car boot go all the way back up that way. They're all queuing down that way. I can hear the guys now saying, we're full, we're full. It's what, seven o'clock, 10 past seven? Crazy. Anyway, let's go see what we can find. And fingers crossed, we'll get some new additions for the collection. All right, see you in a bit. This time in the morning, it's crazy, isn't it, really, why we do this, but it's game collecting, it's game hunting. We just love it, don't we? I know there's other guys that come even earlier than this in the mornings full respect to you guys because I know if you snooze you lose but I think if I didn't snooze I'd probably lose anyway because I'd be half asleep but anyway let's see how we get on today So, back at the car now, um, spent a couple of hours looking around. I went around once, I went around again, and I went around one more time just to be sure. Uh, considering how many people were selling, how you know, how busy it was, I, it was a little bit disappointing. There weren't a huge amount of guy, guys sort of selling games or anything. Normally I come in as about three or four maybe uh, sellers who bring tons of games and that usually sell in, and uh, they, they were nowhere to be seen today. Whether they've just not been able to get onto it because of how busy it was, I'm not sure. But usually they're here, so a bit disappointed that they've that they've not been here. But um, I've still managed to pick up a few things, not spent too much. Uh, I think about £7.50, something like that. So I picked one or two things, one or two interesting things, but nothing, nothing spectacular. So um, yeah, we'll get home, grab a brew, and I'll take you through the pickups from this week. So I'm back, back in the game room um, after the car boot trip this morning and it was mm, a little disappointing I guess. I, As you saw before it was really really busy, um, the, probably the busiest I've seen it for a long time there so I was full of hope, full of expectation thinking there's going to be plenty to, to sift around and have a look at but, um, but there was it was slim pickings to be fair and um, I was a bit surprised so num some of the the usual guys who were there uh, there's usually about three or four definitely two who are there usually every single week um, but usually three or four um, stalls where the, the, the sort of dedicated games sellers um, not you know they weren't there today they just weren't there so um, so yeah it was sort of slim pickings but I have picked up a few things um, Thankfully, it means that it's kind of kept the spending down a little bit. Um, I know in one of my sort of last videos, I'd said that um, I'd kind of reached the budget uh, max this week, this month for, for game spend. But I had put some money aside for a certain PlayStation 5 game, which is coming out next week called Spider-Man 2. You might have heard of it. I'm not sure. Um, but I sort of decided, well, I'm going to put that, but that what money that I put aside, I'll Put that towards uh, a bit of a, another game hunt and see how it goes um, and then get spider-man next month after payday so i guess I've, I've not really dipped into that too much so i'll have to see how it goes on friday whether spider-man 2 still happens or not but yeah i did pick up a few a uh, few things um one or two decent ones actually um uh, 
I'll start from the beginning and I did actually pick up a couple yesterday as well just from CEX um, but I'll go over those ones as well so the first one I picked up was the Gunstringer for Xbox 360 that's a Kinect game um, I only recently picked up a Xbox Kinect from a charity shop it was a couple of months ago actually but I got it quite cheap so I've been keeping an eye out for these purple box Xbox 360 games and um, yeah yeah it's not a bad little gadget that the, the connect it's not brilliant but uh, there's one or two games on it which are quite fun so I'm quite looking forward to giving that one a go that was 50p that one uh, complete all of these were complete I think there's only one that wasn't um, that might have been from yesterday though um, but yeah that's not a bad one for 50p at this point this is when I was starting to struggle I couldn't find anything to, to pick up um, so I, when I spotted these two things I thought oh, I'm gonna grab those because um, they'll go quite nice in the game room so the first one was it's a framed picture of Assassin's Creed I don't think it's anything official particularly um, but I thought that's quite nice and the frames in nice condition so I'm gonna pick that up so that was Assassin's Creed framed picture and underneath that one was a wait, Zelda one as well which I thought quite Quite arty, quite nice. They'll go quite nice in the games room. They were 25p each. So 50p for those two. I was quite happy with them. And I'll, uh, I'll find a place for those in the games room. Possibly underneath my Horizon Zero Dawn framed picture. Because the frames match. So they'll look quite cool. Um, so yeah, 50p for those two. Quite happy with them. Um, and then after that, yeah, I was struggling a little bit to find anything. And then there was one guy right at the end um, who sort of saved the day a little bit. Um, of the other stuff that was there, there was there was a lad who was selling on a you might have seen it in the footage. There was a lad who was selling a, a Nintendo sixty four console. Uh, it was a little bit beaten up. Uh, he was selling a Dreamcast as well, which was in uh, pretty horrendous condition to be honest. I didn't ask how much he was he was asking for that, but Dreamcast is something I I wouldn't mind adding back into the collection because it's actually. The, the probably the biggest regret I have from my old collection, which I had to sell off, selling the, my Dreamcast and the, the entire collection. Uh, that was one of the big, big sort of regrets that I had from that. So, but that one, no, I wasn't picking that one up. It, it just didn't look in great condition. He had a he had a Master System two there as well. I think he was asking forty five for that, and a few games, but nothing, nothing spectacular, nothing worth picking up there. And then there was another guy who was selling. Uh, Xbox 360 games. He had a sort of flat rate for two pounds on those. It was like a, a two two stacks of 360 games. Nothing spectacular in those. He had a box on the floor, uh, which he wanted a pound for each of those, and it was just fodder, FIFA, all the usual stuff. Uh, and then he had sort of four or five games set aside on the top, and there was a couple of Naruto games in there. They were all individually priced. Um, I think there was Naruto Ninja Blade storm or whatever it's called revolution um he had a 10 pound on that and it didn't seem like a 10 pound game um i knew that i knew naruto was quite popular but uh, i had a quick look on cex and they were asking for two pound 50 so i don't know where he got 10 pound from for that and then there was another i think it was ninja storm three um i think i picked up two not long ago um and he had uh, three on the, on there and that was four pound but again i think cex were only charging two pound for it so so i left those two those those behind so yeah the one the one guy who sort of saved the day for me a little bit um i think i've actually been to him before because i think i've bought a few decently priced mega drive games off him recently i've done really well with him he's and he's he prices up really fair um and i only sort of last you know spotted him at the last sort of second it was my last circle around the um around the car boot sale and just sort of by chance happened to notice he was there he had a couple of trays on the floor um when he when i've seen him before he's not had uh ps2 and you know sort of disc games um uh, for sale so uh, he said they were all a pound each which is music to my ears i love it when they just say a pound i think a pound is, is quite a fair sort of price for for these games so yeah for these i'm quite happy and there's one or two which are actually a little bit you know very valued or sold for a little bit more at cex at the moment so i'll get into them uh first one's ssx on playstation 2 so these again were all a pound and these are all complete and ssx yes that's a one pound 50 game at 
CEX. Uh, but you can't go wrong with a snowboarding game. Um, I love the snowboarding uh, games. Um, it's something I've always wanted to try, but I think possibly that's gone past me now. But yeah, snowboarding's always fascinated me. So SSX, decent game. Uh, next up is 13, PlayStation 2 again. Complete. Good game, that one, with cell shaded graphics, first person shooter. S sales sticker on there, three for five pound. Uh, that's a game sticker, if I remember right. But yeah, 13, that's a good game. Uh, Xbox Original, True Crime, Streets of LA. I think that is a pound in CEX at the moment. Um, but yeah, complete, good condition. I just thought, let's give that a go. We'll pick that up. Um, another Lord of the Rings game. I think I picked one on, up uh, on the last uh, pickups video. Lord of the Rings, Return of the King, PlayStation 2, complete. Good game. Two Towers was a good game as well, but this one's this one's slightly better, I think. I think that one is a £4 game at the moment in CEX, so that's not a bad pickup for a quid. I've uh, been on a bit of a roll with Grand Theft Auto games recently, um, because I've never really been that bothered with them in the past. Um, so I picked one up the other day, and I've got another one to show in a minute, but I've got uh, GTA Vice City for the PlayStation 2. So again, that's complete, and it's got the, the funky map and poster in it too, so... Uh, yeah, totally complete that one. Good condition. So a pound for that. GTA Vice City. Um, I think that goes for £3 at the moment in CEX2. So that's, that's, again, it's not a bad buy that. And then the last one from the car boot sale. Uh, again, a pound. And I think, uh, was it, oh gosh. I think it goes for £5 in CEX at the moment, this. House of the Dead. Overkill. Good one for Halloween. Um, but yeah, that's a £5 game in CEX at the moment, so to pick that up for a quid, I was quite happy with that. Good, good condition again. Um, yeah, not bad, not bad. So yeah, so all those lot, with those uh, those those pictures as well, that was £7.50 spent this morning. Um, yeah, it's not bad. I'm quite happy with that sort of stack of games. Um, but yeah, just, just a little bit disappointed with, considering the amount of sellers that were there, um, the amount of games that were sort of available but swings and roundabouts isn't it it's um, that's the way it goes with some car boot sales i think if i go to 20 car boot sales in a year i'll probably come away from five maybe where i'm sort of hang happy and uh, you know i've got I've managed to find a, a good slack of games so yeah it's hit and miss but that's that's the nature of the nature of the beast isn't it and so i've got a couple of extra ones here which i picked up yesterday got these from cex in macclesfield went over went down to south manchester to visit my mum and dad who live uh, not too far from there so we nipped into macclesfield and i stopped in cex of course and picked up a couple and i've actually took the stickers off these so um, i can't actually remember how much they were exactly but i got uh, ninja game sigma for the playstation 3 that is basically the Ninja, Ga Ninja Gaiden and Ninja Gaiden Black from the original Xbox in one game, pretty much. Uh, I think, as far as I know, this one is a little bit slightly easier than those two. Uh, so it'll still be difficult, and I couldn't finish either of those versions of it. Probably won't finish this one either, but it's uh, £3.50 for that one. I think that's gone down because I think it was £4 not long ago. So yeah, £3.50 for that. Um, next one is a series that I've not bought a game for before, and um, I've seen it around a lot. And it's a genre that I'm kind of slowly starting to get into a little bit, and uh, quite like picking up, especially for the Xbox 360 and it's sort of those JPI, JRPGs. Uh, and it's Ni No Kuni, and this one's the Wrath of the White Witch. Um, really highly rated checked out the reviews and the reviews are really good for this and so i think this is one that i'll be giving a go to and yeah i think that was uh three pound again that was three pound so that was a good pickup i was happy with that and then the last one was yeah another gta game gta 3 playstation 2 that was one pound 50. Uh, i did pick it up in there and but the box was a bit rough and the cover was all uh, a bit tatty at the top so I put it back, then I saw another copy, which was slightly better, uh, but again, slightly grubby. So I put it back again, 
and then saw a third copy and it was this copy which was in immaculate condition really good condition complete again one pound fifty so yeah not um a complete you know washout or anything by any stretch of the imagination uh not not you know not masses of games there uh, but enough to keep me going and uh, so yeah overall fairly happy to get to get those in um what i've got to do now is try and fit them into the the, the collection make a bit of room the struggle is real it's becoming a little bit tight now there's uh, there's not a huge amount of room in, in there now but uh, we'll fit those in somehow so yeah those are my gaming grabs for the week as ever um thank you for watching thank you for your support if you'd kindly subscribe if you're not already subscribing to me uh, if you'd like to like the video if you'd like to leave any comments that would be as always much appreciated and thank you very much for watching and i'll see you on the next one thanks